Hi, I'm Katie Augustine. So I'm the founder of the Transformation Center based in Westport, Connecticut. And I'm a transformation coach and a shamanic energy healer. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about what I do in both of those modalities. So in a shamanic energy healing session and soul retrieval, because in a full session, you will have the experience of both of those, we start with an extraction healing. And what it is, I work with my master healer in the spirit world, with my allies, some of them are you know, my power animals, and we work together, and, and your allies too sometimes come through during the healing. And we work with releasing any energy in your body or your feel that's not currently serving you. So this energy could be causing blockages anywhere in your body or in your, in your chakra system, you know, due to past experiences. And you're holding on to this energy without even realizing it. So this is not a conscious choice that you made. It's just something that naturally occurs as we're growing up usually. It's from past um, trauma, you know, large or small, anything like that. So we work to extract that, heal that energy. And this then brings in the light, the divine light. Um, it, it allows space for that. It starts everything flowing more smoothly within your chakra system, within your body. And during that time that I'm working, all you're doing is relaxing. You know, you can fall asleep. Um, you know, your job is just to relax and be open. And you, you know, you you may feel some some movement within, but most people don't. And so then, what I do is bring in, you know, that whatever images that I'm getting. So I can see in metaphors sometimes for you during this time. I might get messages from your spirit guides, my spirit guides, and it's all good. It's all to serve you. It's all great information. So that's that little part in a nutshell. And during this time, um, I'm usually drumming at the beginning with my shamanic drum that's a medicine drum and using my rattle to also to call in um, the spiritual allies. And then after that part, I'll go on a journey and I'll start drumming again. And this is um, what we do in the, in the shamanic world. And we'll either go to the lower world or to the upper world. And I'll go with my allies and we'll be there looking around to see what's, what's there. I'll get messages for you. Sometimes I see some, some spiritual animals for you. Um, and then I look for a soul piece. And what happens um, during our lifetime is whenever we, we have something that you know, upsets us, it could be an accident, it could be a small trauma, it could be large trauma, anything that we're not able to handle at that point in time, it's usually when we're younger. So what happens is a soul piece breaks off. And you know, I like the image, um, I describe it as a jigsaw puzzle. So when our soul is complete, there's no missing pieces, but we all lose little pieces as we're maturing throughout our lifetime. And it could be actually from even from another lifetime. So the soul piece that's coming back is, is completing or filling in the space that's missing. And this is very empowering for you. You know, there's, there's so many times that we need that piece it could, it could be bringing back, um, you know, the ability to see things clearly. It could be bringing back the ability to trust yourself. Lots of reasons why the soul piece um, leaves. And when I'm doing the retrieval and I see the soul piece, I can envision you at the age that it happened. So this gives us a piece of information about that. I ask the soul piece um, why it left and it always gives a lot of good information about what happened. And then I ask it what it's bringing back for you. So it's very individual. And then what happens is I share at the end, you know, after the whole thing is wrapped up, um, it usually takes quite a while and we'll talk about it, um, what I got during the extraction healing, any information, any guidance for you from the spirit world, and then all about the soul retrieval. 
So you will leave feeling much more connected to yourself and you'll have some homework to do that will help you reintegrate the soul piece. And basically every day for 14 days, you'll envision yourself at that age and you'll say, you know, welcome back, I love you. And this helps the soul piece to reintegrate fully with you. And it's really a beautiful process. It's very empowering, very, very calming, very nurturing. All of this is meant to help you on your journey. You know, we all need some healing along the way. And my belief is that we have what we need inside of us. But practitioners can help you access it. So that's, that's what I'm here for, is to help you do that and be the best that you can be. So that's all about shamanic healing. And thank you for joining me today. May you be blessed. Namaste.